Hi, welcome to Building Bridges Ministry. My name is Joe. <clears throat> welcome today. Uh, today we had a nice snow day, and uh, if you see my breath, it's just because it's cold in here. But thanks for joining me today. Um, we are in that time of year uh, that everybody's getting ready for Christmas. They're out running around buying their Christmas presents and all the, the fun gifts and everything. Um, so I wanted to try and do a uh, four-part series, hopefully, uh, of about the birth of, of Christ. So let's dive in here. We're going to pray, and then we'll dive in. <clears throat> Our Father, we come to you today uh, in gratitude. We want to say thank you so very much for your Son and what you, uh, the abilities that you gave him and his mission to walk on this earth and to see how we live here, what we go through, and to personally run through that process. Um, we are so grateful for your, your grace, your mercy, and the ability for, for you to help even those who at times may not look like they need to be help, need the help. But so grateful for you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. So, we, me and my friend started in the book of Luke, and it pretty much starts the process of the birth of Christ. Um, what I want to focus in this first video is going to be the two different responses that people have done in this process. Uh, you're going to have a father who is going to not really jump on, on the bad wagon kind of a deal. And then you got a young girl who says, okay, it, I'm in. All right, so let's dive in. We're going to start at Luke 1. Uh, we're going to be in verse 5. <clears throat> I'm going to read for a little bit, so bear with my poor reading skills. And I'm going to talk about the first section. I'm going to read for the second session, and, and then we'll discuss it, okay? <clears throat> When Herod was king of Judea, there was a Jewish priest named Zechariah. He was a member of the priestly order of Abiah, and his wife, Elizabeth, was also from the priestly line of Aaron. Zechariah and Elizabeth were righteous in God's eyes, careful to obey all the Lord's commandments and regulations. They had no children because Elizabeth was unable to conceive, and they were very, they were both very old. One day, Zechariah was serving God in the temple, for his order was on duty that week. As was the custom of the priest, he was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and burn incense. While the incense was being burned, a great crowd stood outside praying. While Zechariah was in the sanctuary, an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing to the right of the instant altar. Zechariah was shaken and overwhelmed with fear when he saw him. But the angel said, Don't be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayer. Your wife, Elizabeth, will give you a son, and you are to name him John. You will have great joy in gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. He must never touch wine or other alcoholic drinks. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth. And he will turn many Israelites to the Lord their God. He will be a man with the spirit and power of Elijah. He will prepare the people for the coming of the Lord. He will turn the Lord. To, sorry, he will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and he will cause those who, rebel, who are rebellious to accept the wisdom of the godly. Zechariah said to the angel, How can I be sure this will, will happen? I am an old man now, and my wife is also well along in her years. So, <clears throat> Zechariah is in his doing his temple duties, and you got an angel who is telling you that 
at the age of whatever age they're at, uh, you're going to have a, a child. Um, and, and, you know, they've been praying for this child for an awful long time, and they, they're at the point now where they, they're, they're, they're kind of giving up. They're kind of giving up on that, on that hope of having a baby or a child. And when the angel is telling them that, telling him that you're going to have a son and he's going to do this and he's going to do that. And, you know, a lot, like a lot of us who, I don't know, somebody tells you that you're, you can do something and you're like, eh, I don't have that skill set. I don't know. You know what I mean? There's, there's that doubt. There's that doubt that we have of seeing this come through. And, and I, I think Zach, Zachariah is having that, that doubt to the fact that, you know, they're, they're past the age of having children. But we all know that God can do what God does with anybody. He uses everybody for uh, tasks that need to be done. So... Zechariah and Elizabeth are going to be blessed with a child. They're going to be naming him John, who becomes John the Baptist. And, you know, John the Baptist paves the way for Jesus. And, you know, what... I, I guess, if I, if I put this in perspective in my own life, if I was at an age which I was beyond having children, and... I had an angel tell me, you're going to have a son. I think there would be a little doubt in my mind. But if you're, if you're going to be blessed with a child that you've been looking for, what, what, a, what a blessing God has given them to give them a son who's going to have such great purpose in, in, in this process of Jesus coming into earth. Okay? So... Let's slide over the part two. We're going to go to Luke 1, and we're going to start in verse 26. <clears throat> in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the, the throne of his ancestor, David. And he will reign over, his, over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, But how can this happen? I am a virgin. The Most High will overshadow you, so the baby to be born will be the holy and will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. What's more, your relative, Elizabeth, has become pregnant in the old age. People used to say she was barren, but she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible with God. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about, my, about me come true. And then the angel left her. We're going to pause for a minute. I just want to do a quick prayer where the, the fire guys are going out on a call. Uh, Lord, please watch over them. Keep them safe. And the event that they're going for, let it be all okay. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So, here we are. You have this young lady approached by an angel. What, a, what an interesting... Uh, process this is this is and you know it is neat because both Zechariah and Mary kind of showed a little bit of fear and, and the angel is always saying 
Don't fear. You're okay. Which is great. You know, it is, it is great to know that angels and God don't want us to, to be scared when they show up in our lives. And they want us to be participants in this. Um, so, you got Mary, and you got this angel saying, well, you're going to have a kid. And she's like, well, I don't see how that's going to work. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the angel explains the process to her. And, you know, she was in her mid-teens, roughly. Uh, that was a custom back then for, for women to be married to men at a young age. And uh, so it has to be pretty confusing to her and, and you know, overwhelming, uh, scary. And, you know, Mary's response is impressive. Uh, she truly had to have had uh, a, a really strong heart and belief in God and know that when God says something, he truly is going to do what he's going to do. Uh, so her response, uh, verse 38, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left. To, to know the consequences of being a young woman who is engaged to marry, but hasn't been fully married yet, hasn't gone through the process yet, uh, to become pregnant, and it's not your fiancés, there has to be some interesting conversations going on through that process. But she's like, okay, I'm good. I'm willing to take on that role that God has asked me to do. And, uh, you know, we, we have those opportunities as well. And we have those opportunities to make that decision, yes or no. Um, and, you know, look at the blessing that Mary got to have. She got to, she got to have the, the Son of God as her son. And to get to raise him and go through that whole process of raising him up to be a man. And in my mind, I find it very incredible that God was willing to send his son down through the whole process of becoming a human, or becoming a man in, in our human stage. Whereas they, he's born, he goes through the whole toddler stage, he goes through the whole teen stage to adult. You know, I find that a neat perspective. And we'll dig into that a little bit farther in. But I really want us to look at these two responses. You got Ze Zachariah, who was kind of like, uh, okay, you know, and, and you got Mary saying, yeah, okay, sounds great, let's, let's do it. And uh, what, a, what an impressive uh, steps to take in, in both parties, really. Uh, and, you know, they had to have had been full, full of joy uh, Zechariah and his wife getting to have that, that birth of their child and raising them and, and being parents. And, you know, Mary going through that process. And uh, so I just wanted to stop there and, and share the difference in the two responses. Um, and want us to, you know, reflect on our responses. What is our response to God when he calls on us? Is it going to be Mary's response? I'm Lord's servant. Whatever he says, I'll do. Or are you going to be to Zechariah, which he says, okay, but you can tell he's got a little hesitant in him. Okay? So, thank you very much for joining in on my video. Sorry about the whistles and the sirens, but those things happen. And uh, hopefully everybody is safe in that process. Um, I would like to ask my viewers, if you would put in the comment section your favorite uh, Christmas carol. Uh, I think that would be a neat little process to do. Uh, mine is the little drummer boy. 
boy, I, I don't care who sings that song. That is a, a good, awesome Christmas song. I really enjoy that. So thanks, folks, and have a good day.